Welcome to the Palms in Las Vegas, Nevada. Megan O'Levy here for the UFC Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Tonight, we've got a great class for you. The fight between Clay Guida and Diego Sanchez, Rich Franklin, Rashad Evans, and of course, Michael Bisping will all be inducted tonight. Here's a look at all the highlights. Clay, I've known you a long time and you have to be so proud of these accomplishments right now. I know everyone that knows you is like, of course Clay's going in the Hall of Fame. He deserves it, but how do you feel? I tell you what, being out there with Diego on that stage again, it was almost as worthwhile as being in the cage with him 10 years ago. I wouldn't want to share with anyone else um, for that battle that we had, that war that, uh, like I said, everybody, fans won in that fight. And I can't believe it's been 10 years already to see so many beautiful, friendly faces here that I saw 10 years ago when Diego Sanchez and I stood toe to toe in this very arena. <laughs> I'm just gonna pinch myself to make sure it's real. And uh, this is real, like they say, this is real as it gets. And having my family here means everything. Like I said, it was my sister's first time in Vegas. She just started coming around to watch the fights live <laughs> the past few years, you know what I mean? She would watch them after, but she's in the medical field, so she had a hard time watching them. Me and my brother get beat up, but having them, family, friends, teammates, fans from all over the country, all over the world on this journey that we started almost 13 years ago in the UFC. <clears throat> so many friendly faces out there. It's cool to see it come full circle. Honestly, there's been so many great Sanchez fights that I was like, it's a matter of time. I, f I thought for sure the Melendez Sanchez was gonna go in first, but this was a TV fight. This was a Spike TV fight where millions of people who might not have knew mixed martial arts so much they got introduced to the sport in, in, a, in a very action-packed, just a ferocious way that, you know, I guess, I still, to this day, it's that Guida fight, it's that Guida fight, you gotta fight like that again. I have to give a big thank you to Clay Guida, the carpenter. An amazing legend of the sport, still, still playing that longevity game like myself. Tonight and being here the, the day of weigh-ins, you know? I don't think it, it has ever happened in the history of the UFC. A fighter makes weight and has to attend the HOF ceremonies. It's, it's, it's history, and I'm making history, and I'm, I'm happy to do this, and um, it doesn't get better. As a kid, I grew up dreaming of either being a, uh, a superhero or a professional athlete, and uh, I was fresh out of superpowers. So I chose a career as a professional athlete. And the pinnacle of that ends up being a Hall of Fame induction. It truly is rare for somebody to actually live out their childhood dream. Chica, I've known you for a really long time and it's always been such an honor to work with you. But now to see you being recognized by the UFC and being inducted into the Hall of Fame, it makes us who know you proud. How does it make you feel? Um, it's just a real moment for me, you know, I just feel uh, emotionally overwhelmed. It just hit me in, in ways emotionally that I never expected, to be honest. You know, it's crazy to look back on everything now considering, you know, where the UFC was and, 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 and where I was. You know, now UFC's on ESPN and here I am being inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's moments like these that make you appreciate everything you went through and wish you had back some of those moments that you wanted to fast forward through because sometimes the, the waiting and, and the, the, uh, the mental aspect of, of fighting can get to you, but it's about the journey. It's about experiencing it all, and uh, I'm so glad I got to do that. All right, Mike, you just came off stage. Your family is so proud. They're behind you here. What was that moment like for you? Um, never use bad language, okay? <laughs> never use bad language. Don't Do as I say, not as I do. Um, man. One of the hardest, but most pleasant things I've ever done in my life. My goal when I got involved with mixed martial arts was to earn enough money so that I could quit work and then go to college and get some training, a degree, whatever it was, so then I could get a proper job. So obviously it far exceeded those expectations. Yeah, I mean, this is great. You know, I mean, I retired from fighting and I'm excited because of the new challenges, you know, uh, and so far so good, you know, and, and Again, a lot of people always ask, oh, Mike, you can induct to the Hall of Fame, how's it feel? And the same thing, it, it, it's been, it's done, that's that. You know, I won't keep talking about it. You know, you can't disappear up your own backside. And, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's amazing. And I'm so thankful. I really am.